couple days ago, uh, Thomas DeLauer released the interview I did with them, and the headline was, Dr. Baker, the carnivore, whatever, you know, OG or something like that is now eating fruits. And a lot of people just read the headline and didn't listen to the interview. And again, this goes back to, I, I'd mentioned, you know, about gosh, six weeks ago, I did a little sort of short-term experiment to add fruit in my diet uh, for the express purpose to see what impact it had on my cholesterol, given the uh, sort of data around lean mass hyper responders. And so I did add uh, you know 100 grams of basically apples a day for for roughly one week um, it had minimal to no impact on my cholesterol uh, and I can discuss why that may have been probably I'm not uh, you know energy depleted enough to to where that's going to have an impact uh, I think that you know you, when we talk about lean mass hyper responders it's usually in the context of someone whose cells are not replete with energy you know um, again energy is being shuttled you know to and from the, li the liver continuously and what drives that demand is you know cells that are relatively depleted of energy and so you think about somebody who's very lean who's consuming a, a uh, kind of lower side of calories you know I was currently in a sort of I guess bulking up phase so I was pretty calorie replete or energy replete so that's not gonna have a big enough impact and additionally 100 grams for someone my size at 260 some pounds may not be enough so that's that's probably why that didn't have the impact it does um, I uh, uh, personally did not notice any significant benefits by adding yeah that bit of fruit in in fact uh, as I said it was ultimately a net negative for me particularly when it came to sort of gut you know how my guts felt so I discontinue that I do not eat fruit chronically I don't plan to eat fruit chronically uh, you know, as I've said before, I am pretty much 99% carnivore, you know, and I've said on many occasions, even on Rogan, that occasionally I'll have like a piece of cake on a birthday once in a while, but generally my diet is uh, as close to carnivore as, as you can get 99% uh, of the time. In fact, I've been eating nothing but, you know, steak and eggs for the last six weeks. I feel great on that. Uh, I anticipate I'll be doing that, you know, for the foreseeable future. But again, this isn't a religion. This isn't a dogma. Feel free to experiment to see what works for you. And uh, I've done that over the years. You know, I played with different macronutrient ratios to see how it impacts my body. I can honestly say I feel pretty much my best, pretty much just eating meat. And uh, that's just the way it is. Um, so there you go. That's an update for those people that are kind of attracted to sort of the clickbaited headlines. Uh, that Thomas DeLauer put out there. Now, you know, I get it. I mean, it was, I think it was a reasonable interview. I hope you guys watched the interview uh, because I think I have a fairly nuanced position about this and I'm very realistic about it. I don't try to oversell carnivore. Uh, you know, I, again, I was criticized for, believe it or not, I was criticizing for saying, I don't know with 100% certainty if carnivore will make you live longer, which I think is a very reasonable position uh, considering the fact that no one knows the long-term outcomes of really any diet and in fact you know when we think about medicine most medications that are brought to market are not brought with the intent to make someone live longer or not it's there it's done to help with disease you know you think about a symptomatic relief and that's exactly what carnivore has been doing and doing very well with regard to uh, fixing people's medical problems you know relieving their symptoms and, and greatly improving their quality of life now whether or not that's going to going to lengthen or shorten somebody's life it's anyone's guess. My suspicion is, again, this is a, this is a suspicion, not a I know it for sure. But my suspicion is, by getting healthier, you will probably live longer. But I'm not willing to say with 100% certainty, which I think is a very reasonable position. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, how do you guys do with fruit? I don't really care. I mean, it's not it's not something I personally do better without it. I don't consume them on a regular basis. I don't plan to. So, there you go. Have a good one. Take care.